Hi everybody, welcome back to Money Conversations with KJ. I'm Faith and... I'm KJ. So, welcome back. Another Saturday, another roundup of the answers for question of the day. So, let's just jump right into it. I have the first question, which is... Where are you getting your money knowledge? Well, there's a lot of different places that you can get your money knowledge. You can start with us. I mean, it depends what you want to learn. You know, what type of level, how deep you want to get in your money knowledge. We teach the fundamentals. So if you want to know the fundamentals, you come to us. But, you know, there's so many resources out there in the world. You can go to Vanguard or Fidelity, Schwab. Those are all companies that they, you know, they help with money as well. You can also just YouTube anything, Google anything that you need to know, you know, anything like that. Yes, lots of resources. So that means what? There's no excuse for not learning, right? There isn't anything, you know, because on my podcast, people tell me, well, mom and dad didn't teach me. I'm like, okay, well, you're an adult. You need to be proactive, right? And some of those resources that Faith just mentioned are great resources. Those are um, investing houses that uh, have all different types of investments for you guys. And they teach you everything about what they have to offer. So great resources. We're just a huge fan of Vanguard. Um they got a great uh, phone app they have the and they also mainly i think for us vanguard has the least expensive fees they all have fees that's how they make money but vanguard has the least expensive cool let's jump into question of the day tuesday was it Mm -hmm. oh great tuesday what's your biggest challenge with money hmm kind of an open-ended question because when i say challenge some of the answers were i don't have enough money right or um i need to make more money that's a challenge so yeah, I mean, we, everybody has different challenges, right? And if you don't have enough money, then listen, you need to evaluate, right? What you're doing for a living. Is it your passion job? Is it just a job that you, you got for whatever reason? And maybe you need to make a change. Remember, making money in the real world is about giving value, right? And the more value you can give to whatever situation you're involved with, typically you're going to make more money. So if your challenge is, I don't have enough, then you need to probably go out there and find something different. Or you love what you do, doesn't quite pay what you want it to pay, then what's the time to do, Faith? Get a side hustle, right? Get a side hustle to reach these financial goals that you want to do, and then you don't have troubles with money. So, all right, let's move along. Question of the day Wednesday. What was that, Faith? Wednesday's question was, what vehicle are you using for savings? Mm. Well... Trick question. Trick trick question. It depends because when we're saving for something, you're saving for a purpose, right? Some people like don't even know what they're saving for, but always save for a purpose. And then that determines kind of what vehicle you want to save for. Because are you saving for retirement or for a house or for a vacation? You know, and then you can put your money in a different vehicle that will allow for that. Again, doing research, figuring out what fits for you best. Like I save for retirement in Vanguard. So as like an example, you know? Right, right. I think the big thing here is understanding that there are lots of different vehicles to park money. Just don't assume that you have a bank account at whatever brick and mortar bank and you have a savings account and that's it, right? Um, Co-mingling your savings is much more difficult to reach your your savings goals, right? When you have different buckets, as I like to call them, different buckets that you're putting money in, um, you're going to reach those financial goals a lot faster. So yes, saving with a purpose is key and choosing the right vehicle is also key. So do your homework. If you listen to us, you're going to hear us talk about that. Okay, great. So question of the day, we're up to Thursday. All right, guys, Thursday question of the day was, do you consider yourself financially literate? Hmm. Do you consider yourself, that means like, how literate are how smart are you with money again remembering and understanding for me i know that with so many conversations through the podcast we have to be proactive and when most people aren't proactive about learning you know mom and dad didn't teach you type of thing that your literacy to financial you know education is probably low most americans are that's why there's such a big gap in wealth right um there are so many resources that we're talking about to learn. We teach the fundamentals, the basics, right? And anything in life, we need to know the fundamentals first and then keep growing from there. Um, lots of resources all over the internet. Um, and again, we talked about on the question of the day the other day about how we can utilize like Vanguard and Schwab and Fidelity and all these places that are happy to teach you because they know once they teach you about their programs, you're likely to use them, right? And it's all free education here. It's not like it's gonna cost you money 
to come learn a lot of these things or very limited money. You know, you're not going to go to college to do that. Some people do. They say they want to do finance as a career. That's great. Um, but for most people, they just want to, you know, go make a living doing whatever. And then they have their money and let's treat it correctly and you'll have plenty of money. So, all right. Now we're off to Friday. Friday's question. Which is what's Friday's question? What is your favorite podcast? Oh. Well, so, like, everyone and their mom is making a podcast. Everyone and their mom, yes. <laughs> we have a podcast. <laughs> right. Um, so it's a very popular thing. So, um... How often, let's just ask yourself, how many hours in a week do you listen to a podcast? Because most podcasts are doing what? They're teaching us stuff, right? Yeah, they're either teaching, entertainment, a little bit of both, maybe. Right. Depends, right. yeah. There's a podcast on like literally anything. Uh, yeah, anything that you want to learn or listen to, your interest, there's going to be a podcast out there about it, right? Um, you know, currently Money Conversations with KJ podcast, I have have listeners all over the world. I'm on five continents, right? Um, so people listen to me from everywhere uh, because they want to learn, right? And my podcast is about people and their stories. So people want to learn through other people's stories, right? Sometimes they don't believe what you're teaching them, but if somebody lived some sort of a financial story they're sharing, they can set, they can have aha moments. And that's what I love about the podcast that I do. But again, um, I listen to Ed Milet a lot. I love listening. He's got great guests. Joe Rogan, you know, number one out there, or top ones anyway. Um, and so just start listening, whatever your interests are. I think you're going to learn a lot. Um, learning is always what? Always ABL. Always be learning. Always be learning. Always be learning for sure. So... Faith, what else do we want to tell the, the listeners out there, the viewers? Listen to our podcast. Listen to the podcast. Or if you want to be a guest on our podcast. You can go to the to the, my website, moneyconversationswithkj.com. There's a spot on there for you to go ahead and plug your name in and you want to be a guest. I'd love to have you on a, as a guest. And uh, let's hear your story, right? Yeah, if you want to share your money story. Let's share. Yeah, let um, let's help everybody. People helping people. So if you like what you're hearing, hit the what? Hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Right, and and, and, and that notification bell, bell right? All of it. Remember, we put these out. It comes out every Saturday, so you guys can get a review. Maybe you're just, if you missed them, you can go back and see the questions, and then we review them. So, awesome. We will see you guys next Saturday with next week's question of the day. Awesome. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Bye.